Hey everyone, Shashank Desai. I hope you all are doing well today. So as you can see on my screen, today we'll be going to discuss regarding AWS Code Commit, another module or another service from AWS Developer Tool. So this will gonna in continuous series of AWS Developer Module itself. I already have completed AWS uh, Code Star and AWS X-Ray as well. The rest of the module which are getting used with AWS Code Star, which is Code Commit, Code Deploy, and Code Build. I'll be working on those modules to make you guys comfortable how to use these modules in near future if you are totally supporting AWS platform in near future. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go with the theoretical part followed by again our practical demo. And in practical demo, I'm gonna show you how to create a repo the first repository with code commit, how to create a file over there, how you can clone your repo with local git, how you can push and add or commit change during uh, AWS code commit itself. So let's start. So AWS code commit is a fully managed service, a source control service that hosts your secure git based repositories. So you can think of uh, code commit like a GitHub or GitLab or any of the source control version that we have present over the market. So it's better if you are using everything within AWS, go with your code commit, try to add your repository, try to create your repo within AWS and create your AWS code pipeline itself. Again, I'm not saying not to use GitHub because I know like GitHub is one of our famous source version control present over market or GitLab or Bitbucket. I'm just giving a glimpse of what code commit can do if you are not going to use GitHub, right? For your version control. So code commit eliminates the need to operate your source control of your own source control system. And you don't have to worry about scaling its infrastructure. Again, for example, let's say you are using Git. So you have to create your Git servers, you have to maintain your Git server, you have to do the patching updates. In short, you have to maintain your repository, everything which has to be managed. Either you have to do some kind of an automation or you're gonna do it manually. So those kind of headaches are not maintained itself in AWS code commit. That is not our headache to maintain all those patching systems and scaling out of the infrastructure. So let's say we have to add another server, like an auto scale that can be done either manually or you have to do some kind of automation. That is something taken care by AWS itself since it's a managed service within code commit. So that's how useful code commit is all about. You don't have to worry about maintaining your infrastructure, which is maintained by itself by AWS. We just have to worry about keeping our repository, creating our source files, pushing or do a commit. Those kind of uh, work we have to focus on when we are using with AWS code commit. So what are the benefits? It's fully managed. You don't have to worry about auto scaling or any other systems. This is secure. When we say secure, so AWS code commit automatically encrypts your files in transit and at rest. Code commit is also integrated with AWS IAM, allowing you to customize your user specific access for your repositories. So in short, you can secure your data, you can secure your file system. And since this is integrated with AWS IAM, which is identity and access management, so you can control your access permissions and everything from IAM itself, right? Now, this is high availability again, which is very good. You can use your existing tool as well. So AWS code commit also supports Git commands and work with your existing Git tools as well. You can keep your existing preferred development environment plugin, continuous integration, continuous delivery, which is CI CD systems and graphical clients with code commit. So these are the benefits which everybody lo is looking for, like auto maintenance, high availability, secure and supporting of all the existing tools with AWS code commit, which is another added advantage of using code commit. Okay, moving to our next slide on the pricing side. 
so for first five active users aws code commit is free and you will gonna have 50 gigs of storage monthly storage and 10000 git requests per month this is free for first five active users now let's say obviously the development team is more the qa team is more you're gonna have to create multiple users for that right so if you go ahead and add users after five then you will be charged at one dollar per month and unlimited repositories 10 gig of uh, data per month of storage per user per active user and 2000 get requests per month per active user so in terms of pricing as well this is quite cheaper because in git what you have to do let's say you are creating a git environment for you you have to maintain your server you have to give the costing to the server itself and again git environment can be built within aws cloud itself you have to build your environment on top of your ec2 instance and then you have to maintain and manage that particular instance itself the auto scaling configuration if you do auto scaling configuration that will gonna add up another layer of costing but with aws code commit we are not going to have those kind of headaches and obviously uh, in terms of the pricing as well i don't see much pricing with code commit as a repository tool for us okay i hope this clears a lot in terms of uh, code commit because it's almost similar to git or bitbucket or any version control so concept wise everything is similar it's just how the functionality has been built on top of these tools or concept that has been taken in and we are using the same functionality right now going back to our practical demo or coming back to our practical demo so i'll be into my aws management console in northern virginia again this is uh, uh, region specific so again this can be maintained across regions as well so that is something we have to do some kind of configurations so if we go to services in the developer tool section we have something called code commit let's click on that okay so here is an option to create repo so if you click on getting started then this will gonna give you a aws uh, code commit console like create secure repo for sharing your code in the cloud this is fully managed services that makes it easy for the companies to host secure and highly scalable private git repo it eliminates to operate your own source control system or worry about scaling its infrastructure the same thing has been written over here as well you can go through the video uh, this is the same concept that aws has uh, given as a youtube link which i have uh, updated to you as well there might be some different concept uh, in terms of the language might be different but uh, the concept wise code commit is similar so let's go ahead and create our first repository let's hit on create i will gonna give this name as my first repo or let's say first repo description now you can enable amazon code guru as well so this is another service that amazon has implemented for reviewing the code for java again this is optional and this is only available for java okay so i will not gonna use that we are going to just have a simple repo created simple file like hello world kind of thing i don't have any code as of now with me to which i can push it to but the same way we have to do for all pushing or creating any file let's hit on create okay so this has created our first repo repository cre successfully created now here are like three options for connecting your repo either with https where you have to have a git client as i said this supports git repo and the version needs to be 1.7.9 and above second ssh you can go through the instructions like for mac os how you can do that for windows and linux you can ssh into the box and do all your kind of uh, commands and whatever you use with the git 
and we have like HTTPS git remote code commit. Basically, we recommend that uh, use the latest version of the git and other prerequisite software. So you just have to go with this particular instruction. And again, you have to install git client for this as well on your system, which will gonna use for committing or seeing the code. Because every time we are not going to use AWS management console to see what kind of rep repo we are going to have, right? Okay, so I'll gonna uh, take HTTPS for this particular demo. So we're gonna create a file. So let's hit on create a file. Welcome to my channel. Let's go take in CloudDB. And I'm gonna give this file name as lgctic.txt. Um, Author name, it's my machine name itself. So I'll, I can customize and I'm using my machine name, Shashank Abhishek. Email ID, we can use to get the notification as well. So you can give as per your requirement, first file in repo. Let's hit commit changes. Here we go. It has been committed to the master. Welcome to my channel. Let's go cloud. Let's go take in a cloud way. And this is going to get into master itself, right? You can enable the notification where you can create a notification rule and use SNS topic to send out a notification. Now, before proceeding further, I just like creating uh, another file or cloning a request we have to maintain all these things with a user I am user so for that we have to go to I am so I'm into my I am console I'll go to the user so I have logged in with Shashank let's go to Shashank and inside security credential again I'm working as an administrator over here I have an admin access for so for any other users obviously i'm not going to give admin access for that what you have to do you have to go to attach existing policy come on and search for code commit so you can give them as code commit full access read only is for the users who are like new to the environment so for them i'm gonna probably use read only access or I can use power user access as well. So let's give full user access, next review and add permission. Okay, I got the full user access. Now in security credential, there is something called, if you scroll it down, there is something called HTTPS git credential for AWS code commit. So generate a username and password to authenticate your HTTPS connection. So as I showed it to you, to get into our git, we have, we have three options, HTTPS, one is SSH, another one is HTTPS for remote Git. So let's generate our credential. Let's copy this. Copy, and I'm gonna probably use, okay. Insert, paste. This is the password that we have, and I'm gonna copy the username as well. You can download this for safer purpose just to send out all the lists to the existing user or the new users. Okay, so I have created a user with, uh, I'm gonna use HTTPS client to connect to my Git repo. So let's go to developer tool. Now the first thing that what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and clone this repo with my local computer. So let's go to code commit repository, sorry. Come on. Now, let's clone HTTPS. So this is the URL that we'll be getting it copy. And you can see like I have only one file within it. I don't know, something is slow today. Let's go to my terminal. I'm going to maximize this. Let's do sudo. 
okay i am into my shell i have already git installed on my machine so let's see the version it's 2.21 which is higher than 1.7.9 so i am good with the version of git so to clone let's use git clone and the url hit enter this will gonna ask me for the username and password so username is this let's give our username paste now this is asking for password let's use the password copy paste So I'm not going to reset my keychain to default. So let's cancel it. It's counting in objects and this is done. Let's see what we have over here. So our repo name is first repo and it's there. I'm into this ls minus lrt. And we have our let's go cloud let's go take in a cloud .txt file present over here so let's do cat lg and this is the text that i have written to that file now the next step is what i'll gonna do so this is how you you will gonna clone your code commit repo with your local system now next what i'll gonna do i'll gonna create another file i'll gonna try to create a file from my local system and try to push this file to my repo so let's create a file called chunk dot text we're gonna insert some data over here which is like use nano let's say welcome and say yes I'm just showing you Welcome is the text that we have. Now the next step is uh, we're gonna use git command to add this. So git add hyphen m shashank.txt give some error, sorry. So I have added this to git. Now the next step, what I'll gonna do, I'll gonna, so the next step is like, we have to commit this file, git, sorry, git, commit, hyphen m, adding new file, what happened okay adding the file enter so this has been done create notice this next is git push hyphen u origin origin then we have uh, master this will gonna ask us for our username and password so let's copy that Username, paste, then we have password. Copy, paste. Let's wait. Okay, master has been set up. So let's go ahead and check our AWS management console. I'm gonna refresh this. First repo. And here we go. This is the next file that we have created, shashang.txt, which has a text called welcome. So this is the way how you will gonna use code commit to create your repo, create your first file, do a commit or clone a git repo on your local system, add your file, push your uh, file to your repo. So that's it guys for this particular video. If you are facing any issue with this particular code commit module, just place out a place out a comment in comment section and I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.